They are our heroes. They run into danger to save lives. Now some Detroit firefighters are doing something in their off time that will make even more of a difference when it comes to rescues. You know, most Metro Detroit fire departments require their firefighters to be EMT trained, but not in the city of Detroit. Well, Detroit has its own EMT unit, but as we've reported in the past, that department is frequently overworked and understaffed. So now some Detroit firefighters, you could say, are coming to the rescue. Our defender Karen Drew has their story. Detroit firefighter Joe Jones has been on the job for four years. Just be prepared for whatever comes down the line. But Jones is taking that preparation to a whole different level. Being able to do more just comes from being prepared. So mm -hmm. I just like being prepared. And I, sometimes you get that feeling you can't do anything. And I, I just hate having that feeling. So that's one of the main reasons. One of the main reasons? Jones, along with dozens of other firefighters, are getting their EMT certification on their own time with their own money. Local four cameras were there at a recent graduation. I mean, it's a great deal. Um, we can respond to almost any emergency incident, and without proper training, supplies, and equipment, uh, we'll, we'll be useless. So uh, the training is uh, uh, beneficial for us as well as the citizens of the city. Um, it, it's, it's a good thing. We learn a lot of technical skills on how to stop bleeding, uh, basically to stabilize people more efficiently than we knew how to do before. But those are some of the skills that we learn that will help us to sustain that citizen uh, a lot longer for EMS to get there. How are we going to interact with them? Getting certified is no easy task. It takes about four months to complete the 400 hours of training. It's a lot of commitment. It's a lot of study time. A lot of people don't realize what's involved within the EMT class until they actually get in here. Vehicle hit the wall, going 60 miles an hour. Our Defender cameras were allowed inside some of the training classes at Superior Medical over in Madison Heights. Make sure you have a good hold of them. These firefighters have a lot to balance, working full time and training to be EMTs on their days off. Obviously, they're, they're not young individuals that are coming into the program. They are veteran firefighters. And for them to start in a whole new program, it's amazing that they really wanted to do something to better the city. Hold here. For Ronnell Best, he said taking the class was also an investment in himself and his future. The department is changing for us, and so we don't have a choice but to be ready for the things, the changes that, that are coming. And um, the more information you know, uh, the better suited you will be later on. Inside sources I talked to from Detroit's EMT and paramedic department say the help is really appreciated. They admit they wish their response times were better, and this extra help from some trained firefighters could mean the difference between life and death. Anything to help the citizens, we're, we're here. We serve the public. That's our job. We're public servants, so I think it's a positive thing. I did talk with Detroit Fire Commissioner Austin today. He says this is just a snapshot of what is to come, hoping with some planning and education, all personnel will be medically trained. Now, no timeline has been set, but the commissioner does say that it is a goal in the near future that will really benefit everyone in the city. Karen Drew, Local 4 Defenders.